An invasive species is a plant or animal or fungus or some type of living thing that not only isn't native or normally found in a certain community, but it actually causes harm. One of the most prominent invasive plants we have here at Pontenelle Forest is garlic mustard. And that is a plant that was brought over from Europe during settlement and it was cultivated because people eat it. And it tends to take over. So these smaller plants here are first year garlic mustard plants. They're what we call the rosette stage. So they just kind of hang out on the ground. Next year, these same plants will bolt upright and they will produce flowers and seeds. We have Dame's Rocket as well, which is similar in the way that it also spreads by hundreds of thousands of seeds per plant, and it also shades out the areas around it. It has really pretty purple to white flowers, and these are its seed pods. Each of these seed pods has tens to a hundred seeds in each one of these long skinny things. We have autumn olive, primarily up at Neil Woods, and we have honeysuckle, which grows in a big, beautiful bush, but there's no nutritional value in the berries that the birds eat. So it'd be like us eating candy bars all the time. So they're not able to get what they need from the plant. One of the ways we know where our invasives are located and how bad of a problem they are in a certain area is we have a, an ongoing mapping project where we go out uh, with interns and volunteers and we identify any invasive species that may be in the area and mark them with a GPS unit. Some of the methods that we use here at Fontenelle Forest to control invasives are mechanical removal and pulling, which is what we tend to do with the garlic mustard and the dame's rocket. Uh, we also use a method called basal bark spraying and what we do is we spray or paint basically a targeted herbicide on the bark of the tree of heaven. It has a really thin bark so it'll absorb the herbicide and it'll kill the tree. The biggest thing with invasive species is that they find a way to get into a system and because they don't have competition and they don't have natural predators, they tend to outcompete the plants that would normally be found in that area. So by our neighbors also helping out and planting native options instead of the ornamentals that can get out of control, that'll help us to keep our forest healthy as well.